Hi everyone, this is Meredith. I'm a librarian at the Glendale Public Library and today I'd like to tell you how to access a library database or electronic resource both through the library homepage and also through the library catalog. Now to start off we're just looking at my desktop here and I'm going to go ahead and get started by double tapping, double clicking on Google Chrome to open up a web page. All right. I do recommend that you use Google Chrome when accessing library resources. It's the website that works best, the web browser that works best with our materials. Some of our databases and other um, electronic resources will not work in other browsers, particularly Internet Explorer. So I'm going to go to the glendaleazlibrary.com homepage. All right, and that is going to take us to the library homepage. Now, once I'm here, I am going to scroll down to the drop down menus right underneath the information ribbon, and I am going to click on library databases. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is a database? Um, that's a very library word. Put Simply, a database is just an electronic collection of information that could be articles or books or chapters of books or abstracts or videos, um, any type of information, but it's been organized in a specific way and it's also usually been fact checked. So you can think of it as a more reliable, easier to use internet. Okay, once I'm on the database page, I'm actually going to scroll down pass some information here, and I'm going to see these drop-down menus for databases listed by category and databases listed alphabetically. All right, we've arranged our databases so that you can access them one of two ways. We have them grouped by category, and I'm going to go here to the Education and Testing category and click, and you'll see this opens up um, a menu that shows all of our electronic resources related to education and we have quite a few all right and then you can also see that we have them done alphabetically so for example if I know that I want to go to the Encyclopedia Britannica or the Britannica Library Edition is what it's called I can just click on the B and it's listed right there under Britannica Library Edition. So this is just, in, if you have an idea of the type of information you're looking for, you can search by category. Or if you know exactly what resource you're looking for, you can click on the letter and they're organized by their name. So going back to that um, education and testing, you might have noticed that some of these databases require that'll say login required click here what that means is that you cannot access this database unless you have a Glendale library card some of the um, resources listed on this page are publicly accessible or they might ask you for your library card a little farther on in the process but some of them you can't even view without a library card so I think I'm actually going to close this up and head back over to the bees and go to the Britannica Library Edition. Okay, and that's going to take you to our library catalog. On this screen, it's going to ask you to enter your library card barcode number and your PIN number. Now, your library card number is on the back of your library card. It should start with the number 21442. It's the number right underneath your barcode. You do need to enter your entire library card number in when you're entering it in. I just have part of mine blanked out right now. Okay, then you'll need to enter your PIN number. Your PIN number is a four digit number that should be the last four digits number of your phone number unless when you got your library card you asked for a different four digit number to be assigned to you. Now, if you try to log in and the last four digits of your phone number do not work, please give us a call at the library and we will work with you to reset that PIN. Okay, so once I've got my library card number and PIN entered in, I'm just going to go ahead and tap log in. Okay, and that's going to take me to this screen that says A to Z databases and I can find the Britannica Library Edition back in that list. Okay, and once I click on that, it takes me right to 
the Britannical Library. And you can see, I'm going to do, this one is divided by reading level. I'll go over here and let's say I want to do a search on um, an author. So let's go ahead and search for Louisa May Alcott. Okay, and you can see it pulls her up. And this is just like an encyclopedia. So it has pictures and articles. And different databases have different types of information. But this is essentially what you'll find in most databases. So earlier in the video, I showed you how to get to a database through the library homepage. Now I'm going to show you how to access a database through the library catalog. So this time I'm going to type in the address of the library catalog, which is glendale.polarislibrary.com. Okay, and that's going to take you to our library catalog. All right. Now I'm going to want to come up here to the top to the drop down menus and under search catalog and electronic resources, I'm going to do the down, do the drop down and go to databases and electronic resources. Okay, and just like on the library homepage, we have these organized in two different ways. We have them organized by um, subject area. So once again, we can click on education and testing, and that'll show you all of the different education and testing databases that we have access to. Unlike on the library homepage, there is not a description of each database in the catalog. Okay, we can either use our back button here at the top or we can just click back in the breadcrumb trail up here and that'll take us back to this um, website, this page on the website. So I'm actually going to go to A to Z databases, which just like on the library homepage has it all lists out, okay, on which databases we have access to. And this time I think I'm going to log into the Testing and Education Reference Center. So it says, login required, click here, which means I cannot access this database without my library card. I'm going to click here, and once again, I'm going to enter my library card number, the entire number, and my PIN number. Then I'm going to tap login. And it's going to look like nothing has happened, because it's going to take you back to this A to Z database page. But if I scroll back down to the Testing and Education Reference Center and click again, This time you'll see it'll show me um, the education testing testing and education reference center. All right. And this is a great database if you're looking to apply to college, apply to school. It also has math and writing tutorials in it. So this is a fantastic resource. I'm just going to go ahead and close out. We hope this video was helpful. And if you need any more assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us.